widgets are designed to provide a simple way to display features and information without changing any code. These features and information can be placed in any area that has been prepared for widgets, usually referred to as widgetized areas. This can be in sidebars, typically found on the left and right of the site, in headers, footers, and other widgetized areas of the site. Widgets are managed in the Appearance Widgets screen. This screen will vary depending on the active theme being used. The screen is divided into three sections. The Available Widgets area lists the widgets that are available for the active theme, giving the name and a description of the widget. The Inactive Widget area contains any widgets that were removed and that have content or code that you want to use later. Widgets placed in this area will preserve the information in that widget. This area is also used if you change themes and the widgets are different in the new active theme. Any widgets that cannot be placed in the new active theme will be placed in this inactive widget area. That way you can reactivate the old theme and the widgets will be restored. You can delete widgets from this area by opening the widget and clicking delete or by dragging and dropping the widget to the available widget area. The content or information in that widget will be permanently deleted. And a list of all the widget areas available for use in the active theme. The default WordPress theme has these widget areas. The first box will be opened by default and may contain some default widgets. These can be removed by dragging and dropping to either the available widgets area or the inactive widgets area. The other widgets areas are closed and will need to be opened before adding a widget. Simply click the bar to open the widget. These boxes will usually have a description for that widget area. Widgets are added by dragging and dropping to the desired area. This will put the widget live on the site immediately and open it for editing. Make any changes and click the Save button. Widgets are live on the site as soon as they are dropped in the widget area, but any editing to the widget will not be live until the Save button is clicked. Some widgets may only need a title, and some widgets take additional information. For instance, one of the most used widgets is the text widget that needs information in the text box to be useful. You can enter JavaScript, HTML with images, banners or ads, just plain text, or even YouTube videos. Most widgets can be used multiple times in the various widget areas, and you can even use the same widget multiple times in the same widget area, depending on the active theme being used. To delete a widget, simply drag and drop to the available widget area. This deletes all the edited information in the widget, or to the inactive widget area to preserve the edited information, or you can even drag and drop to another widget area. At the bottom of each widget are the Delete, the Close, and the Save buttons. Clicking on the Delete button will remove the widget from the widget area without saving any of the edited changes. Clicking on the Close button will simply close the widget box, and it will remain in the widget area. For details on using these default widgets, watch the Default Widgets video.